Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer with the shorter hair today. <laughs> okay, let's go into a dream prophecy that I just had this morning. I woke up at about five o'clock, went to the toilet, went back to sleep. And this is when I usually have my lucid dreams that are premonition or about to come true. So this dream that I had this morning fits into that characteristic because one, it was like I was there, it was dimensional and the second thing that lets me know these are lucid dreams is because I can actually think of what to say while I'm inside that dream. So not only was it like a video, you know how a dream is like a video screen that we're watching? In this dream I had this morning, I could look all around me. So let's get into what this dream was. I was sitting in, it was like a restaurant. And if you know what they call bench seats, I'm against a wall and behind me it's brick. <clears throat> and I'm on like this bench seat and there's a table in front of me and there's chairs at the ends and there was three seats in front of me. So it was like three plus three plus two at each end. So it would have featured about eight people if they were eating there. And I'm sitting on this, it's like a dark red material. And I'm sitting on this seat and I look to my right, which is this way, and I'm sitting next to Johnny Depp. And then as I look around, I can see the wall behind me, all the brick. So I'm inside this dream. As I look around in this like restaurant that I'm in, I see many, many famous people. All are actors. Okay. Let's go through some of the people who were there. In a table over to my left was Matt Damon. Jerry Seinfeld was even in this group. We had um, Chris Pine was in this group. We've got um, Chris Evans. Arnold Schwarzenegger was over at the side near the doorway. Straight over in front of me was Chris Hemsworth. Brad Pitt was there. So we've got all these really famous people in this room. So when I looked at Chris Hemsworth, who was sitting across, he was actually there with his wife because he, he, I can't say it was his wife because I didn't verify it, but she had blonde sort of straight hair and he was there with a couple of kids, okay? So I'm presuming here that it was Chris Hemsworth's family because I don't know too much about his family, okay? I don't even know really if he's got kids and how old they are, what sexes they are. But I know that there was um, two girls there with him having dinner. Um, so I looked to Johnny Depp, who's sitting beside me, and I said, oh, my God, that's Chris Hemsworth. Oh, my God, that's Chris Hemsworth. My God, it's Chris Hemsworth. And Johnny Depp sort of nudges me and he says, be cool, Linda, you know, it's all cool. And I said, what, what, what? Because, like, that's Chris Hemsworth right, right there. Thor is sitting right in front of me. And... Johnny turns to me and he says, Linda, it's all good. We know these people. So I looked at Johnny and he had this look of, you know when you've been through a really bad roller coaster and you get off and it's like, thank God I'm back on ground? He had that look, that look. So as I'm looking around, we were in this circle of people everybody there it was like they were all equal so this dream where I'm there with Chris Hemsworth and hello Brad Pitt and hi Matt Damon yeah 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 you looking good too Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth because Chris Evans was there too if you know who that is that's Captain America hello anyway so it was a good dream on Linda's behalf, right? <laughs> but then we also had females in this group. Jodie Foster was there. Wow, Jodie Foster, you know, one of the best actors. I call her one of the best actors of um, recent years. She was there. Um, Meryl Streep was there. 
Um, Sharon Stone was even there. You know, Sharon Stone from the 80s. You know, Basic Instinct, where she crosses her legs, that woman. Right? She was even there. So this dream showed me, because it was just so... You know, it was like the... Um, you know, in hindsight, it's like the after party at the Oscars. And we were all there. But we weren't in suits and really formal attire. You know, people were just in board shorts, T-shirts. Um, you know, a couple of the guys were wearing jeans and a T-shirt, that sort of thing. So it wasn't a formal occasion. It was like we all just got together and were having this meal. So let's psychoanalyze Linda's dream. Comment below what you think this dream means, okay? Because a couple of things that I I'd always say, you know, we've got to work together, use our heads together and um, work this out. So a couple of things that I want to point out is that there was a waiter going around and she was filling up everybody's cups like you do at a restaurant. So there was it, it was all equal. Everyone was getting the same things, right? So first of all, Johnny Depp, he's had a roller coaster the last few years, right? Because of a certain AH person, Aqua Woman. So let's have a look. Oh, because there's something I haven't told you that because that just came back into my head. So we've got the fact that he's there now intermingling again with all these really famous people again. Okay, so we can't dispute that he is now back in that clique. Okay, he's back in that group. Okay, he's been accepted back after all the last couple of years. So what did he say to me? There was a part there where I turned in because I could think. I could think in this dream. And as we um, got all this stuff in front of us, funny because I wasn't eating, but I was watching a lot of other people eat. Okay, so I didn't personally eat anything because I was just like, oh my God, that's Chris. Oh my God, there's Tom Cruise. Oh my God, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger over near the door. Looking good there, Arnold. You know, for someone of your age. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? So anyway, I turned to Johnny and I said to him, um, isn't it good that AH isn't here anymore? And he looked at me and he said, who? And, I, and he said, don't worry because she will never be here huh so let's go there now with her because I've got a little hint could this mean yeah that's just a car going past my house if that just came up on my microphone but could this mean that AH is now gone Hollywood and all the people who were supporting her have now turned their back on her and said you're done okay so this could be what this dream was about AH is now done so I will share some things that I have heard. Um, wasn't recently. God, it was like last week. Today's Thursday for me, so I haven't even been on there this week to the news of, of what's going on there. But apparently now she's in the UK. Um, she's screaming poor so she doesn't have to pay anyone any money. And plus she's also now saying that she's homeless so she doesn't have to get sued by anybody. I don't think this is going to work too well for her okay it's not going to work out too well because all these people in this room in this dream they were all supporting JD and that's something that was extremely prominent in this dream because people were sitting across the other side of the restaurant and they were like waving hey welcome back you know there was people there who, who walked up to us and they were like oh yeah give me one of your french fries you know like you take french fries off a plate that someone you know right i uh, can't remember which actor that was i think that was actually brad pitt huh. <laughs> how cool is it brad pitt just coming over and grabbing one of my fries right <laughs> it was a good dream it was a good dream and i woke up this morning thinking wow got to psychoanalyze this one today but i think the biggest thing was when johnny looked at me and he actually said who's that you know, she's not she's never going to be in this place ever again so I think J um, JD is coming back I know that he um, is touring now with um, Jeff Beck okay um, but I don't know what his situation is with acting positions but what I'm feeling today is that JD is about to get a lot of offers he's and I also think because of just how this dream unfolded 
I actually think that JD's price per film has just gone up significantly. Okay, because we were talking like, you know, there was millions and millions of dollars in this room with all the people that like hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So JD is coming back into that circle, you know, being there involved with all those people. So um, good news for JD, not so good news for the AH situation. But, you know, comment below what you think's going on with this. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of weeks because usually when I have these dreams, it comes in the next couple, um, three days to a couple of weeks. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But at this point, JD, man, I hope that you get some really cool offers if you're listening. Um, I hope that, um, you know, just let go and you know how I deal with it myself and what I preach on my channel etc as a psychic medium uh, when people do hurt us do not retaliate don't do it to them just because they did it to you because that creates a mirror effect so we don't want to repeat what they're doing hold your head held your high oh, start again hold your head high and just say would I treat others the way that person has treated me and if the answer is no then get out there and prove it to yourself. If you don't want to be a person who manipulates or lies or has whatever other traits that somebody may hurt you with, turn around and say, does that affect me? Yes. Would I ever do that to somebody else? No. Then go out there and prove it. You know, if you say to yourself, well, I'm a kind person. I always want to be generous. Generosity is not money. Generous could be just bringing in someone's garbage bin after the it gets, gets emptied generosity could be opening a door for somebody so they could walk through generosity is carrying a bag of groceries for somebody who's got heaps of bags and they're like staggering to get to their car okay generosity is being complimentary generosity is also being kind if you see a bird struggling throw out a bowl of water you know here in australia we're coming up into summer i have a bottle of i have a, um, a bowl of water out the back and i also put cat biscuits out the back so all the wild birds can come down and get food um just little things like that is how we are generous we're giving to others okay so that is what is coming for jd comment below what you all think whether i'm on par here whether you've got your own ideas you know i'm not saying i'm correct i will never say that but it's just a dream i had this morning now uh ch choice for this afternoon would be well do i go back to sleep and try and get back into that dream where matt damon and all these other special people are in the dream because i didn't want to wake up talk to you all soon bye